Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new to this channel, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications, when we post the video on the channel. In this video, I will do a comparison between two flow measurement techniques, ultrasonic transit time flow measurement and ultrasonic Doppler flow measurement. As we know, ultrasonic transit time and ultrasonic Doppler flow measurement are two different techniques used to measure the flow of fluids, typically liquids, in various industrial and medical applications. Here are the key differences between these two methods. First of all, let's do the comparison based on the measurement principle. Doppler flow measurement relies on the Doppler effect, which involves measuring the change in frequency of ultrasound waves as they interact with moving particles such as suspended solids or gas bubbles within the flowing fluid. The change in frequency is used to calculate the fluid velocity. This method is typically used for liquids with suspended particles or gases. In other words, this method is better suited for liquids with suspended particles or gases, as it relies on the scattering of ultrasound waves by these particles to measure flow velocity. On the other side, the ultrasonic transit time measurement method measures the velocity of a fluid by sending ultrasonic pulses in the direction of flow and against the flow. The time it takes for the pulses to travel downstream and upstream is measured. The difference in the transit times is proportional to the flow velocity. This technique is suitable for both clean and dirty liquids. In terms of accuracy, the accuracy of Doppler flow measurement can be affected by the concentration and size of particles in the fluid. It may not be as accurate as transit time measurement in clean liquids. On the flip side, ultrasonic transit time measurement provides high accuracy, and is less affected by the properties of the fluid, making it suitable for a wider range of applications. In terms of application, ultrasonic Doppler flow measurement is typically used in applications where the fluid contains particles or bubbles, such as in mining, pulp and paper industries, and some medical applications like blood flow measurement. On the other side, ultrasonic transit time measurement is commonly used in applications where high precision flow measurement is required, such as in water and wastewater treatment, chemical processing, and HVAC systems. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.